on YouTube. Um, it looks like it's going to be really, really hot in Western today. Because I'm already virtually sweating. I couldn't, it's hard to sleep last night, it was so hot. Um, in, in this country, in the UK, they don't believe in having sheets on beds, they believe in having blankets on beds. Blankets on beds. So in other words, even if it's, ah, there's a mirror there. Even if it's really, even if it's really hot out, outside, he's still sweating in bed. Um, and it's difficult to get naked because obviously my friends, my friend Lee, his state is in that same room as me, so. It's hard to find two single beds actually. And I've got to look out for mirrors because I've got no clothes on. So. <laughs> Just gonna have a bath. Look how hot it is out there already. It's only about 10 o'clock. So, bathroom looks quite nice. Bathroom looks quite nice. Um, shower there, bath there. Um, nice tiles. Yeah, quite a spacious bathroom. Um, my pen top there. Um, plenty of towels, plenty of towels there. Uh, needs sleep as usual. If he's not known, he needs sleep. <laughs> Bless him. Um, so Lee's through there. I'm trying to show you, but obviously it's going to be difficult because I've got no clothes on. So and that's out there. Is he asleep? I think, I think he's asleep, yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit claustrophobic with a lot of doors these days. You know when I'm at work and like, I'm at work and I'm working on cleaning offices and there's no one there. And there's not, oh, that's not a mirror, is it? <coughs> and um, I'm cleaning the offices. And the main door, because there's no one there, it's like really like, sp not spooky, but like a bit eerie. And, um, and, um, and, um, I can't even think now. And I have to leave the main door open. I put a brick, there's a brick there, I put the brick next to the main door, because if I shut it, I feel a bit, sometimes feel a bit like, not claustrophobic, especially as I leave my phone in the coat, in the cleaner's cupboard. Because if I run around with my phone in my jeans, sometimes my jeans are falling down. So I put my, I leave my phone in the cleaner's cupboard, and then it's like, it's like, oh god, what? Well, and sometimes when you're cleaning the men's and women's bathrooms, the door slams shut behind you, and you think, oh fuck, I hope I'm not going to get locked in here. Because that has actually happened to me when I was a child. I was doing gymnastics with my with my cousins, Karen and Louise, my older cousins, when I was a child, and I got locked in the men's toilets for all day I think till the end of the session um, because I couldn't get out, I couldn't open the doors and I was probably only about five or six or something and um, and uh, I kept trying, I remember there was a little glass window which was I don't know maybe five foot or something but obviously because I was only about five or six I couldn't reach the window I remember I kept, I, va I vaguely remember jumping up and down trying to get people's attention but there was no one there but luckily, at the end of the day, someone saw me and let me out. Um, and I've still got that memory there. Every time every time I shut a door, I'm thinking, am I going to get locked in? You know the automatic toilets on the trains? I don't like them at all. Um, and, and lifts I can cope with as long as someone else is in the lift with me. But I never catch lifts on my own, never. I, never, I don't think I ever have, actually. Maybe, maybe... Uh, when I used to visit Stephen, when he lived in a block of flats, I used to walk up six floors of stairs rather than... I used to walk up the six floors of stairs rather than catch a lift. Plus the lift smelt of piss anyway, so... Well, this bath's taking forever to do. I can't take on this one. No. 
have returned for Valkyrie. <laughs> Isn't it so?